Alright, welcome guys to a new series that's going to be up here on the YouTube channel. It's Motorsport Manager, as you can see up there. It's a game about controlling your racing team and trying to become the best that's possible. So, first and foremost, I probably should put in my name. Then I'll put in my actual birthday because I don't really care. And you can't go any newer than 96. I was born in 99. I am from the USA. I'm I am a male. That's about my skin color. I have dark brown hair. I do not have facial hair. Let's, here, let's, instead of doing that, I'll start at one. One. Um, I think I was cooking through and I think I saw, yeah, I think nine looks like me, but I'll take a look. Yeah, I think nine looks like me the most, and I got glasses. Oh. Uh, I, I like those first classes. And then backstory. X driver. Driver feedback. I've played a I've played this game a bit. So I know what all the controls are and stuff, and I know other stuff or like give or take what I'm supposed to be doing. So driver feedback's good. Cause that helps you get your car set up good in practice and we're gonna be doing F1 on this we could do multiple different seasons not only different seasons of F1 but different seasons of like different things I could always jump into say I'm using well I'm using the fire 2018 mod so it's all of the data from the 2018 season of like racing of different motorsports and stuff so I could always jump into the touring cars or, or I could jump into endurance racing but endurance racing is probably more of a streaming thing or to cut it down or I'd have to seriously do some cutting because they can take I like doing the long races and that's I think six hours so we'd be here for a while and then X engineer part design that's important as well because of, just because of how it's doing or like just design an uh, upgrading designing parts payments five minus five percent on every oh minus five percent on every purchase. That's interesting. Politico for voting power and free proposals. That could help too, because you change or you all of the team principles and stuff. Start yourself or start off or the come together and vote and they let uh, are they and uh, yeah they come together and vote and then they'll like they, they, they make the rules and then if it's a tie vote uh, the head of the motorsports association makes the breaks the vote
car, I believe. Yeah. Let's go with that. Primary color. Yeah, I got my custom color already put in, because I figured... Why not? And I like the black, but I think that's going to... Let's go wild with it. Let's go... Oh, McLaren. I'm just trying to think, because McLaren's already blue and orange. We don't want to do that. And Renault used to be blue and yellow. I don't... Hmm. Ferrari's red. We got here. Mercedes is gray and blue. Williams was was well, I guess it's still white and blue. Um Renault's now yellow and black. I want though I want blue. I don't know if anyone's done any blue and green. Can we do a brighter green? Yeah, I'm not sure if I like this design then. Ooh, that's hard to read on the background. Yeah, we're good. Oh. Hmm. Let's go with black, I I guess. I know I, I said I didn't really want to, but... I th think we're gonna go with the kind of basic design then, so we can do black. And then obviously we're gonna have the same colors of people, or of the colors of the team. And then I've always been a big fan of the double stripes. And instead of using these ones that are from the game, because it's I read the description of the mod and it kind of messes up, like you can see. We use the workshop ones, and I believe it's all of the ones below 31 are designed for these different cars. Or designed for like F1 and for F2 and F3. And of course, that they're slightly different cars. But. Well, not slightly, they're majorly different cars, but.
season because you get the opportunity to switch your livery between seasons and if you really want to you should do it uh considering this is just gonna be kind of a casual playthrough we're gonna go with the low pressure team atomic motors I think we take Haas's place in the championship, unless it's random every time. Because I've done, I did this a little bit to get acquainted, and this is where I saw, or kind of saw that we got rid of Haas. I've done one season to just kind of get me going, but I've done, I've done mostly two touring car racing because I got this game right after touring car came out because I think that wasn't in the game originally maybe it was maybe I'm no I got the game right after the create your own team DLC came out because that was something that I was looking at and I didn't really like about the game or about this game but then they had chain or they added that ability to make your own team and I, was, and I jumped right on board and I've been pretty much in love with this game since so it's it's a fun game to say the least I do wish they would do some more updates to it because I saw that they released Motorsport Manager 3 on the phone and I think that has real tracks and I wish that they would make either a sequel to this game or update it with the real tracks but I know that involves licensing and stuff but if they got it for the mobile game they should be able to get it for this alright we have Pavel Vyazovich and Tara Dillon or Tara I'm gonna call her Tara though all right, targets for the first season. We're gonna come in last. That's how these first season things work. It you don't really. All right, we're gonna get scouting. It's probably better that we go with lower driver or uh, younger drivers. Even though, yeah, this is F1, and we should probably be picking them out of F2. I need cheap drivers that could and should be able to drive the car fast. And I'm going to start with all the people that aren't on a team. Because then I have to pay, for example, with... I don't know who that is. Callum Lot or I Lot. I have to pay a million dollars with Robert Schwartzman. I have to pay 1.5 million to break his contract. So I, I, with the people that don't have a team, which is all these dashes. I'm very. Oh, Charles Leclerc. Yeah, we're. I'm. I'll also go for. George Russell. Why is Charles Leclerc not on? Maybe I got rid of Sauber this time. Let's check. Home. The teams in the championship. Yeah, okay. So it's a random team it gets rid of. Okay. So you have Forcindia, Haas, McLaren, Mercedes, Red Bull, Renault, Ferrari, Toro Rosso, and Toro Rosso, and Williams. So, yeah, apparently it is a random team that it gets rid of, and it got happened to get rid of Sauber this time, which is now Alfa Romeo in real life, because Force India is racing point in real life now. Okay, okay. I, if I can, I'll I'll definitely take Charles Leclerc. Max Verstappen, unlikely that I'm going to get him because he's already an F1 driver. And $6 million when 
I haven't even taken a look at the finances yet. And we're probably gonna fail. And Alex Albon. We'll take a look at and a couple of these guys. I'm gonna go until well, I'll get Ocon, because I like Ocon. And anybody else that I see right now that's up to well I'm past 20 so I'll, I'll go to 22 years old now that's okay that's all that we're doing for now well I see Antonio Giovinazzi or Giovinazzi and that's the last one I'll add to my queue we have to check the pit crew make sure everything's sorted out yeah, these guys are tragic. So first of all, these guys are getting swapped, because that should speed things up. Anybody good on a front jack? You seem good on a front jack, and you look good on the rear jack. And then, that also makes it look like you're good for tires, which you look good there. And I think these two are the same ability, so I'm going to swap them. And these two will get tire duty. So. Um, actually, but he's good on the front, Jack, so we'll swap you. Nice, nice, nice. Five, five, five. Alright, if we can find a person that's better than five on tires. Oh, there's two people right there. Nice. Um. Okay. So, you guys get new tire positions, and because. I'm not going to use you. We're going to get a better front jackman. And... Anybody else? No. Alright. That's... That's about as good as I'm getting for... Before the first race in Australia. And as I somewhat mentioned before, we don't have... Fantastic... Anything. And the tracks aren't real. The locations are somewhat real, but not in order. Like, we have Dubai second. Um, though it's, a, it's about as close as that they could get. Alright, I have to take a look. I want to start this as soon as possible. I want to start as much stuff as soon as possible without kind of going over my limit. And I th think the factory is more important than the design center as of right now. And then we're going to have to focus on our parts. Because reliability plays a big factor and what's wait what's important acceleration and low speed corners so actually what are the two weakest parts that we have it looks like that engine and that rear wing Alright, and that's definitely the better option. We're gonna get our upgraded gearboxes, which are going to get trounced on. And I'm gonna see if I can't get a couple of new wings. New front wings, I should say. Oh, and you can also break the rules in this game, like if I add that. Which. I'm going to add reliability 
just because we just kind of need to start getting that development going. And as right before the th race, we should get our sponsors because right now our car has no sponsors, and we're losing 1.7 million a race. That's not gonna last me with this, but and especially because I'm about to, I want to start performing decently well, at least be aiming for eighth in the team's championship at the start of next season. So we're gonna put as much money away as we can and save. ERS, I'm sure if you guys watch F1, you know how ERS works. You know how the three stage qualifying works and I'll explain that when we get to it and our pit crew. And before we get truly going, I need to get a new designer, which ability I'm going to go for like empty stars like this because that's potential. Whereas the full stars are how much ability that they're at. Whereas like for example he's not a great person right now but as time goes on he can become a four star person and I could probably pay him very low money what is it? no extra risk level minus three that's that's actually pretty good he's actually pretty good so I'm gonna favor him real quick before I do anything and I'll just explain with my staff like these guys are all half stars because they're all rolling contracts they're essentially volunteers so they're yeah they're essentially all volunteers just kind of taking leadership roles in this thing because and I that's where why scouting what I'm doing is coming into play because I'm gonna be doing this He's also only 32 years old. I mean, I suppose I could always hire someone younger, but on just this first page, he's the youngest. Yeah, like, he or she could be good. But he has two very good abilities down the road, and he's young enough that I can probably keep him for a decent amount of years. So he wants a long contract, and the thing is you want to nail as many, cause he has a lot of patience, so he wants that, I'm not going to, I'm
actually getting into the race because this is kind of explaining's taking longer than I had thought. So, Katja Blomquist, no mistakes while fixing part and pit stop. That's pretty nice. Driver focus during race. That's. She's somewhat good. I think I'm going to talk to her just to see. And wages aren't that important to her, so I'm only going to offer her 68000 But again, I'd rather spend the big chunk of money now. And again, you're going to get a race bonus. And now that I've done that, we got to find hopefully three race mechanics that we like like iris what are you pit stop oh faster yes all right i'd like to talk to you wages aren't too important i'll pay you that oops and we'll give you a bonus as well though she doesn't i don't i think i was paying attention and she didn't have a very high Sweeter spots is nice, and super overtake mode is also nice. Those are two good abilities that I like, so we'll see. We'll see what they like, and then now we finally get to advance time. And we've designed that front wing, which probably isn't going to make it to one of the two cars. Oh yeah, it will. I take back what I just said. Because it's the best front wing that we've got now. So, But I need to design another new front wing. Just because that's, like I said, that's an important thing for the Australian Grand Prix. And then after we build these front wings, we're going to be... Oh, I'm just going to keep somewhat specializing in front wings, it looks like, because they're important to...
Alright, we're going. We're, we're doing.
five times 240 versus, I don't, 240 times six. That would be more money if I took this one, but that's only for five. So we're gonna take that. And I'm gonna have to take this one as well. I think I have to take the f upfront offer of 720,000. That's just what has to go on. What are, what, are, what are my finances? All right, we're only losing a million a race now. That cut debt in half, give or take. And that's pretty nice. And high speed corners, we're making some grounds in. Though I'm not, I can't, well, I can, but I'm not going to fit that new rear wing because whoever gets it, it's just going to have it break on them, and it's not worth that issue, because it's just going to be not great, and we're also going to put it under performance, because hopefully I should be able to finish that, and then, now that we're here, I've got the 8th best sponsors, apparently. Nice, nice. So... We're hoping for this. We're gonna do the tire selection, and... I'm sorry, guys, but I'm gonna call it for now. We'll do... The... Race later. Um, or we'll do the race in the next episode. Because this was kind of the introduction episode, getting briefed with everything. I know I went fast through it. If you guys have questions, feel free to ask. But for now, I'm going to kind of, or as we go through, I'm going to just kind of speed through things to hopefully get through this whole process that we've just done here and the race in an episode and more but thank you guys for watching i'm gonna call it here keep watching i it'll be a little bit scarce on videos for a little while because it's hard to find time but i'm gonna do my best but school comes first all right talk to you guys later peace out